In 2008, there was a video game released for the Nintendo Wii called Mushroom Men The Spore Wars. The game was developed by Redfly Studios and published by South Peak Games. It launched to positive reviews overall, with IGN giving it a 7.9 out of 10. This is the cover. However, this is also the game's cover. What's the difference? One of them has over 50 results when you search for it on eBay, and the other? None. Welcome back to Bird Dog Gaming. Today we're diving into an interesting mystery around a game that many of you have probably never even heard of. This game has a variant that is so rare, there might only be a couple of them in existence. Mushroom Men released as a 3D platformer on the Wii, and a 2D counterpart, Mushroom Men Rise of the Fungi, was released simultaneously on DS. The Spore Wars itself is pretty common, which tells me that it sold at least a decent amount during its lifespan. But one day in July, I was doing some research on Wii variants and decided to sort the eBay listings from highest to lowest. This is a pretty easy way to find out about well-known variants and sometimes lesser-known variants. I scrolled through the listings and came across one titled Extremely Rare Variant Cover Mushroom Men The Spore Wars Nintendo Wii Sealed. The seller was asking $800. I'd never heard of this game or this game having a variant, so I started to dig a little. None on eBay, none sold in the last three months. Okay, so the seller isn't lying, it's pretty rare. I tried to find some information online and I came across a Reddit post from five years ago. Essentially, the poster said he found a sealed copy of the game and wanted to know why he couldn't find any other copies with this cover art. Something you might be thinking right now is maybe this game just has a reversible cover art. Did you ever think of that, Christian? Well, I did. But the only two known copies of this game are sealed, so unless there was some crazy issue at the factory, I don't think that's a possibility. Now, I had a couple of theories going into this. Right around the release of this game, Gamecock Media Group was acquired by South Peak Games. Who the heck is Gamecock? They are who Wikipedia says is the publisher of this game, despite the front cover saying otherwise. When you turn the game on, you see Gamecock's logo, which led me to my first theory. Is it possible that this game was right in the middle of being launched when its publisher got bought out? Well, kinda, yeah, actually. They were bought out in October of 2008, and the game launched just two months later. So I went to check the front cover of the variant to see if it said Gamecock. If it did, then that would tell me the first print was released and probably pulled or discontinued very quickly, making this variant potentially the first print. However, this cover art also says South Peak Games on it, so that theory was squashed pretty quickly. So then I had another idea. What if this game had a sweepstakes around the time of its launch? If it did, then maybe that could explain this bizarre phenomenon. As it turns out, there was a contest for Mushroom Men. Not just one though. Not even just two. I found three different contests surrounding the launch of this game. Three! The first one was announced for the middle of 2008 and was hosted by RevolutionSF.com. To enter this contest, you had to write your own Mushroom Men fanfiction and submit it to Space Squid, which appears to be a science fiction magazine. Submissions were due by August 1st. The grand prize was a Nintendo Wii console, a copy of Mushroom Men, and your story would be published in Space Squid magazine. The winner of this contest was Christopher Otis, who submitted his short story, The Legend of Shiitake. There were also five runner-ups on the Revolution SF website, though the contest details only ever mentioned one winner. It's unclear what the runner-ups received, if anything. The next contest I found was held on Destructoid.com and had contestants create a Mushroom Man related diorama for entry. You would email a picture of your diorama and the best 10 dioramas would be chosen by Destructoid and the first, second, and third places would be selected via votes on Destructoid's website. Third place had it rough, they only received a Mushroom Men poster. Second place got the poster along with a copy of both the DS and Wii releases of the game and a set of Mushroom Men trading cards. First place was where the real prize was. You would receive both the Wii and DS releases of the game, as well as the trading cards, but you'd also get a custom Mushroom Men themed bass guitar that was signed by Les Claypool, as well as a Mushroom Men poster which was also signed by him. Les Claypool is the founder and bassist of the band Primus, and he actually wrote most of the music for the Mushroom Men game. The winners of the contest were announced in late October, and one can only wonder what became of that awesome bass guitar. The last contest I found was held by GameStop. 
There's apparently a five day cruise held every year called Jam Cruise, and Les Claypool was going to be playing a bunch of Mushroom Men music live on this cruise. GameStop held a sweepstakes on its website where they offered contestants the chance to win one of four Jam Cruise packages. The cruise would be leaving in January of 2009, and the website I found this information on also mentioned that there would be more great contests to win Mushroom Men stuff while out on the open waters. Why am I telling you all of this information? I believe that with all of the contests that surrounded this game's launch, there is a high, high chance that a special cover of this game was made and sent out to some of the winners. Maybe the game was given a special cover art for the Destructoid competition winners. Maybe the game was handed out to a handful of lucky winners on the cruise ship. I believe that the possibilities are endless. If it's not abundantly clear, the publisher went absolutely nuts promoting the launch of this game. On top of those three contests, the celebrity soundtrack, and the cruise ship, there were some pretty sweet pre-order bonuses, 24 trading cards to collect, and apparently a Volkswagen van? You would have thought this was the biggest game of the year with how much they promoted it. The mystery of this Mushroom Men variant on Wii remains unsolved, and it only begs the question, was there a DS variant as well? Something to note about the DS release is that the cartridge has Gamecock as the publisher, but the case shows South Peak. If anyone has any information at all about this game or the variant or the possibility of a DS variant, please comment or feel free to reach out to me on any of my social media at BirdDogGaming. I've reached out to one of the contest winners to see if I can get some information from him, but he has yet to respond. As for the rest of you, keep an eye out for this extremely obscure variant when you're out game hunting. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on Bird Dog Gaming.